So let's play Civilization Beyond Earth Rising Tide. So I'm really looking forward to this expansion because the the original Beyond Earth was a little disappointing and there the complaints are well documented. It was bland. The graphics could have been better. It was basically kind of a reskin Civ 5. The mechan the, some of the new mechanics were just not that interesting. But I'm hoping that I've heard some good things about Rising Tide and I hope that it really lives up to lives up to what Firaxis has been saying about it. And I have to say this is a very beautiful title screen. They did a good job with that. Just like the original Beyond Earth one. It really gives you that sense of wonder and excitement to build a new sieve. So let's jump right in and set up a game. Yeah, just stand it's fine. Let's be... Let's be someone really aquatic. Let's be the North Sea Alliance. So we can make a plan of all and see. And I've never played this, so we'll just, you know, we'll give it my best shot. Let's be, let's be aristocratic. Yeah, sounds fun. Yeah, we don't need tech to see. Let's. Let's start off with uh, the worker unit. Let's go with... Duncan Hughes is well regarded as one of the top sport fishermen in the world. Duncan's largest catch, nicknamed the Aberdonian Monster, was a 95 kilogram mutant Atlantic cod that, while too contaminated to eat, is still the largest cod caught on record. According to eyewitnesses, the fish was so large, Duncan was barely able to hold it for a photograph. He spent more than an hour reeling in the monster, and more than once feared he would be pulled overboard. I, I, I'm I'm liking this new. It's kind of trying to expand that whole mythos of Beyond Earth, which was done done well to a degree in the original, but it seems like it's a little more in your face in this one. They were a little too uh, too safe, I think. Beyond Earth, but this one's looking looking like a real real expansion but let's dive in to see if it's more than just cosmetic changes I like this loading screen here you got your water city got some nice ships I do like this big one over here that's almost looks like it's taking off into space uh, may maybe that'll be for another expansion. Hello, I am the Advanced Integration and Simulation yeah, Resource, or Titan. Advanced. Sounds fine. Let's settle at sea, just to give it a shot. You have founded an aquatic city. Aquatic cities work just like land cities, but with two key differences. 
First, aquatic cities do not grow with culture. They only claim the plots adjacent to the city when the city is founded. Instead, to claim new territory, aquatic cities require their second special ability. Aquatic so cities, aquatic can, cities move. can move. These cities float and can travel around the map. Whenever the city moves, it we'll, f we'll find out what happens later. Let's build improvements. Explore. There, dude. I always like going with the old Earth relic. First, well, I say always. I've only played a few campaigns. Let's go with pioneering first. It's a very important technology. I'm really liking this graphical overhaul. It really makes makes the planet look alien, not Earth-like. Liking the vegetation. And uh, they still have bugs, unfortunately, but. And the oceans really look a lot more detailed than the original Beyond Earth ones, which were essentially just the Civ 5 oceans. So, I'm digging it. Artifact discovered. A laser-based propulsion technology. Near light speed accelerator pristine. I see. So I'm guessing here when you collect some of these different types of artifacts, alien progenitor and older ones, that you can place in here. get some sort of production research out of it. Let's get it. Let's see what happens. Here. Put it there. Okay, so it's always going to be 60 science. It's pristine. So I'm guessing I want to wait for a couple of different kind of artifacts to kind of combine it, combine it later in the campaign. Home. So it seems like the quest system is essentially Beyond Earth's quest system. Which is okay. It's a little disappointing, but... What can you do? It's Beyond Earth. But I really am digging these graphics. Especially the ocean reefs really makes it look interesting. Oh, this guy's this guy's weird. Yeah, don't doesn't look very friendly. So essentially, we'll have a mobile capital, which is pretty cool. You have an aquatic city that is able to move. Moving water cities allows them to claim the plots adjacent to their new location and is the primary way to expand water territory. You should try moving your city towards valuable terrain or resources. Oh, okay. Thank you. So I don't know if I want to move now. It doesn't seem like there's anything special to move to yet. Oh boy, Hydro Coral. I guess it looks like these guys aren't mobile, but they kind of expand. So they don't, they don't look mobile anyway. Floating alien structure. That's cool. And we've got our old friend, the Sea Dragon. Looking as odd as ever. <laughs> Laboratory equipment from Old Earth. And a research pod. Okay, those are always nice. So 
So once we start gaining a little population and produce a few buildings, our research should go up exponentially. Oh, we got some friends here. Ah. So I guess we don't we don't meet the new civs immediately. We have to actively go there and seek them out. Which is fine. Probably a little more giving you that exploration focus again. A clinic would be good for everyone, I think. We need some science boost there. News from the capital. Activists calling themselves a private militia have made a citizen's arrest. A criminal in question, a professional biologist by the name of Pierre Petrillo. To the activists, a rogue researcher, tampering with a dangerous foreign substance. Story? A simple scientist experimenting with miasma in the privacy of his own residence. Petrillo claims he was learning more about the substance in an attempt to negate its harmful effects for colonists in the field. The militia's stated goal, however, is to prevent activity which could endanger citizens on the new colony. They claim the scientist was using his own body for experimentation. The group destroyed all volatile materials as part of their arrest and has brought the scientist to the doors of a local prison. We are aristocrats, so we value safety, right? So, we want to go for a supremacy. Sorry, buddy. Don't try that kind of stuff at home. Experimenting with miasma. the bug guys. We got more fish fellows. So I'm liking the new fish, fishy aliens. A big improvement over the bugs. The bugs in the original. We're aristocrats, so we need... Do we need might? No, we need in industry. We're entrepreneurs. We're entrepreneurial aristocrats. The universe is either in progress or in entropy. We choose progress. Thank you, Vadzium. We choose research. Okay, so this is going to give us some aquatic abilities. Let's go with planetary survey. So the goal of this Let's Play is to provide some first impressions and to kind of test out what what the improvements are in Rising Tide. So, hopefully win, too. We'll just keep going. And I'll get back to my Shogun 2 Let's Play. I just have to find some time to record that. I still remember how to play. <laughs> or as best I can. Central planning. We are we aristocrats. We plan. We plan well. It saves money. And I definitely like these new improvement structures here. They're very, very immersive and different. I'm liking that. can 
build a colonist now. I guess I would colonize up there. Yeah, I think we should definitely have a land presence. Maybe right over here, where there's no miasma. شعب أرض الفلاح يحييكم باسم السلام. Greetings from the people of Al Falah. I am Arshia Kishk of the Golden Shah. I like her. She's got spunk. So, no, oh, I'm Duncan Hughes. Uh, what can we do? A Sabiya. I did Babylonian, but Arabic still eludes me. Still. Well, we'll get back to diplomacy once we have more options. Finally home. Yep, yep. So are we. Oh, so there's... we got some... Yeah, th this screen is definitely new. We've got some... respect... and fear. So it seems like five is the default for both. But I like that you can see that. A little more clearly, I guess. In real life, you would, you know, be able to tell these things from body language. But of course, the absence of a sentient being on the other side, you have to see some numbers to see what's going on, have a better idea of what to do and how to deal with them. So I'm liking this, this shift here. What do you mean, pending? شعبُ أرضِ الفلاح يحييكم باسم السلام. I have to do. I am indefatigable. Okay. So. Why can't I? Okay, I get it. Okay, I just hit enter, and it went away. What's your transmission? You fear me slightly less. Okay. Oh, I just had to hit very well. Well, <laughs> it wasn't that clear, I gotta be honest. Maybe I'm just stupid. Now I see what to do. I see what I did. I see what I did wrong. I'm sorry. But I do like the new screen. It's it's new, that's for sure. You are making enough diplomatic capital each turn to start an agreement with one of our neighbors. They have no Oh. Ooh. He's been... he's seen better days. Assalamu alaikum. Strategic Supply Network. Yeah, let's... It's not a good deal. Well, forget you then. It would be valuable, but she wasn't having any part of it. You have an aquatic city that is able to move. I know I can move it. I don't want to move it yet. Yeah. 
All planets possess inherent value and establishing the exact dollar value of the property should be priority. That's just annoying. Sorry, Suzanne. Let's go for... Genetics. That'll be a good start. So the tech web seems mostly unchanged, maybe a little more... a little more tough to maneuver around, but it seems like the techs are mostly the same. Looks a little more imposing on the surface of it. architecture. Yeah, so we'll just have to... Yeah, I like being able to build... Uh, build buildings that I've already built in the capital more quickly elsewhere. That's a, that's a good move. Yeah, even the land, the solid ground looks very different. Very alien, much, much improved from the original Beyond Earth graphics. Though I hope at some point maybe there are options to you know, change the color scheme. Maybe that'll be left up to mods. Let's see what happens when we add things together. Maybe once there's a third thing, it'll be a little more compelling to do that. Oh boy, our explorer's in a bit of a pickle here. Or a bit of an octopus. These rippers look pretty scary. This hydro coral is definitely the king of scary, though. Wouldn't, run, wouldn't want to run into that. Could build a trade depot. I think a colonist is going to be a more prudent option. Maybe have him settle over here. Then we can move our move our capital somewhere, perhaps. Maybe over here or something. Oh, we already built a colonist. The hell am I thinking? I guess we can't move there. Maybe he can settle here. And we'll move Deep Castle. Just, you know, for the heck of it. See what happens. No, I don't want to move there. I want to move... Yeah, let's just see what happens. Oh boy. That, that you have several artifacts in your library that can be researched for valuable yields. Perhaps you should examine their rewards and see if any would be useful for our growing colony. Maybe later. Makara. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep our colonist away from that, buddy. Yeah, you go over there. Get away from that thing. But soon I would like to move our capital and have a land, kind of land center of operations here. Because it is a very valuable island. Man, 
Hey, new research is always welcome. personality traits you currently have don't seem as useful anymore, you can exchange them for new ones. You have enough diplomatic cap- Hey, so with money I can change my personality, it's just like real life. A colossal alien device has been discovered on the planet's icy surface. Rising high into the sky, the structure appears to be millennia old built from materials that have withstood aeons of decay. Mankind can only hope to understand the technologies in use. A closer examination reveals that the central spire houses a massive drill reaching far below the planet's crust. At those depths, no metal should survive the planet's intense heat. Radio interference at the site suggests the device may be communicating with something nearby. Interesting. I do like ancient stuff, that's for sure. I guess we'll have to send send an explorer there to see what's going on. Let's build a gunboat to maybe clear out some of that the hydrochloric guys that were hanging out around here. They seem to be dangerous. Be a sunken spacecraft. Very cool. Yeah, let's go with Shackleton. So Shackleton just took my spot there. We found another aquatic city. Right over here. Good spot. Assalamu alaikum. Let's go for that supply network again. I mean, it's not a good deal. It's the only deal we can do. Goodbye. Good day to you, ma'am. Just from a cursory glance, there's a lot more alien activity here. You have enough diplomatic capital to upgrade one of your personality traits. So we founded our first, our first, second aquatic city. <laughs> yeah, so so far, oh, and it comes with a patrol boat. That's nice. So I'm, I'm digging this game so far. It's, it's definitely interesting. Which, and Beyond Earth was interesting too, but kind of faded quickly. But this one looks, looks like it's a deeper experience. And I think this is a good place to stop. And see you next time.